speak of downtown Sarasota for a minute. Like we open this up all the time with beautiful day, downtown Sarasota, all the charm that is downtown. And oh, oh, and let me it, cut that. Yeah. Let's cut that. Yeah. We have we have uh, our our guest is here yes. right on time. Oh my yes. goodness! Look at that. Hello. Oh, he's a little Will, bit. How are you? A little bit before little time. Bit before That's before fantastic. You. <laughs> how you doing? Good. How are you? Good morning. Good you have to get Good right up on there. Just All right, make there, we there we go. Yep. Just go ahead. Yep. Yeah. Can All you right. everything okay? Your levels okay? And yep. You guys sound great. Awesome. Oh, thanks. No, you sound, you sound <laughs> great. Thank you. No. Um, so, uh, Will, we're going to let you introduce yourself. All right. But the way we met Will was he's the judge of uh, the ice cream eating contest, which I believe was like in November, maybe. Yep. And then uh, last weekend, uh, the beignet eating contest. And, yeah, and I've uh, got a little, and, and Mark tried to bribe. I've him. got a little bone to pick with Will yeah. because I gave him a, like a five hundred dollar gift certificate <laughs> yeah. to Bonefish Grill, and I didn't win. Yeah, <laughs> you no, know, it, it 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 definitely uh, needed to be about a thousand to really <laughs> oh, turn my now eye. I hear about that. Now I hear about that. <laughs> hear the, about the that. first prize was like huge, man. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it was it eight or was it ten? Uh, the the person who the won. The person who won. Uh, the yeah. person who won a twelve because second Whoa. place was ten. I remember. Whoa. Oh my god. Yeah. I did. I was happy that I almost did. <laughs> yeah. So, um, so besides volunteering to do great things like that, be a judge, um, Will actually has a real job, and uh, that's yeah, we, the we talked a little bit. We, we sure. talked a little bit about it on Saturday, so we invited him here today. Mm-hmm. So, Will, yeah. take it away. Tell us about yourself. Sure, sure. Uh, so, yes, my real job, and I'm very lucky that this is my real job. I'm the uh, director of improvisation over at Florida Studio Theater. Uh, what that means is that I'm one of the associate directors and instructors and uh, over at the theater, but my main focus is on improvisation. So we do shows every week. We do a lot of classes. Uh, we run on a weekly basis. We're probably doing somewhere between 20 and 30 classes all over the, all over town. Wow. Uh, and so, so uh, yeah. By improvisation, no, is that not strictly, it's not okay. comedy necessarily. It's just, is it just getting up and like here, here's what I want you to do, go. Uh, is that kind, kind, I mean, kind of like the show. Yeah, yeah. Like hey. so this is the perfect catch because that's exactly what this show's about. In fact, we have a show that is a lot like this, where it's supposed to be two hosts. Uh, when it, and uh, so one of the uh, games that I have my uh, kid students play, and, I, and I'll go back to your question in a second. Yeah, but one yeah, of them of that I play is they host a podcast. Oh, wow. and so they have to come up with the character names, they have to come up with the topic, uh-huh. and then they just start hosting it. And then the other students in the class are callers, so they'll call, or guests like me. Yeah. So they'll just come in and start talking to them in whatever topic they come up with. Scott, we're being critiqued. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Please grade saying, us um, after the show. Do not give him the site. <laughs> <laughs> Turn that down. Push that down. I'm just saying, if you ever need uh, subs or uh, someone to, to sit, no, in, that's I've got awesome. A bunch yeah. of kids that are ready to go, or have them come and you know what, and be a guest. They could be your, in or character. You know what? That's fantastic because you know what? How about we do this? Let's have guest hosts. Yeah. yeah. On on subsequent, like we could have three. Like for that, yeah. we could have three of us. We have room for four mics. Sure. Right. So to inter, I mean, could that be part of maybe your curriculum? Uh, that, that could be part of it. Or I could have them come in. Uh, we could have one of our classes on a Saturday morning and come on over this way. Yeah. If and, you want and they, to, and they just. They, they're one, the host of the show, the, and they'll interview you. Fifteen down. minutes, and then if there's two or three of them, sure. it'll take up thirty minutes of our yeah. day. Either, yeah, either either two of us and and that the person, yeah. or one, or of, us one of us, or one of us will go get coffee, yeah. and <laughs> Scott and the the young gentleman or lady will yeah. go ahead and do it. Yeah, that would be t- that. They, cool they would have a blast. They would have a blast. Yeah. So I um my classes are. What, what I tell folks is that the comedy part is a small, the comedy aspect is a small part of it. So we do our show on Saturday nights, the show that we're doing tonight, that is definitely like comedy. But other than that, uh, we're all over the place topic-wise. I mean, we'll do some serious stuff, we'll su- do some therapeutic uh, improvisation, etc. Okay, so when somebody comes there and says, I want to learn to be an improv, right? Yeah. I, to, to do that. It, uh, What's the uh, curriculum? What's the course? Is it like five weeks or is it something? You know, like uh, to be, a, like to get the, when most people come in, I would say that they're happy with the first two levels. Like that's kind of what they're looking for, which is like, that's 16 weeks. Okay. And that's kind of the improv that you see on TV. That's the improv you see on stage. Once you get past that, then you're you're probably really serious about it at this point. So we have like levels three, four, five. At that point, it's starting to get you're putting in you're putting in uh it's start, it only becomes academic because we start teaching you like theory and like all the right. all the, the history of improv where the first two levels are definitely a lot of fun and a lot of people just that's all they want to do are those yeah. first two levels yeah more for entertainment entertainment exactly than education exactly okay. but then like there are those i would say it's significant i would say maybe 60 to 70 percent of our students that will make the turn from entertainment 
to they're like, all right, I really want to learn this. And then there's after that, a few, even a fewer uh, percentage or a smaller percentage that just takes it really seriously. They start touring and doing all that stuff. So yeah. a lot of people are very shy. Yeah. I, I would say 80% of society or even greater, right? Right. So, like, we can't even get somebody to come over here and talk to right. us walking down the street. Yeah. Um, are the people who come and do the just the first two levels, are they more introverted and they come and they learn to be extroverted? Or are they already extroverted? Uh, a lot of them are. You know, like, I, by my very nature, I would say that I'm also introverted. I'm not going to go ahead and put myself out there all the time. I'm not going to attract attention to myself. However... What improv has taught me uh, is that in situations where I do need to step up, where I need to, uh, where I am on the spotlight, I'm going to be comfortable sort of shifting that gear. And so what a lot of my students will say is that after taking an improv class, they're a, they're a bit more comfortable being put on the spot. So if they are walking right next to you and then you ask them to jump on, they're, they're, they'll be comfortable sort of switching into that gear, being like, okay, let me get a, b a bit more in the moment and be ready to answer and talk. Whereas before, it's like a lot of people, like you said, they like avoid eye contact and try not to get put on the spotlight. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. So, like, so as far as age groups, are, is there an age group for this? Is it like anybody can join? Or I'm sorry if I missed that. I no, 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 I didn't. I did no, it's all right. Uh, so, like, uh, we have two separate. Uh, we basically our classes will break down from 18 and under to 18 and over. Okay. Uh, and so 18 and over, which is uh, our evening and at, and uh, weekend classes. And our kid classes are mostly like after school. Mm -hmm. So a lot of my, my youngest student right now is probably nine. Mm -hmm. My oldest student, you're not going to believe this. I had a student yesterday, 105 years old. Oh, no kidding. Oh, my God. Yeah. 105 hey, wow. years old. So what was his motivation for going ahead and just <laughs> no, no, right, expanding, uh, just yeah, having fun? Just, uh, yeah, just having fun. And like a total firecracker. I mean, really Dude, with 105 it. years old, man. You've got to have a, a, yeah. a I'll, I'll show will you. to live. Just a oh, here, I'll show you. Vibrant. A, if I could, uh, there's my phone. So I'm going to keep talking. But yeah, yeah. I was saying that I do about 20 classes a week. Uh, one of the uh, uh, one of the things I do is I'll go off campus to uh, various different, either assisted living or retirement communities, etc. So this was one that I went to yesterday, and uh, you know I get there it was my first class with this group, and they told me right away they're like your student is going to be 105 years old. So uh, it was at a, it was at a nursing home. It was it was a, not a nursing home but like a, day, a daycare, okay. uh, adult daycare basically. Okay. Uh, so the the video is, is uh, the video will, will tell you yeah, there she is. Oh wow! Now is this the 105-year-old? She's 105. 105 105. She's Give dancing. She's dancing away. Video of her dancing. Yeah. That is a zest for life, right? Yeah, there. right. Yeah, and she like was totally uh, into the into the uh, exercises I was doing. And when you're at that age, my improv exercises are a little bit different. And oh, actually, you uh, again, you all, all appreciate it. One of the uh, one of the uh, exercises I like to do with uh, with my older students is that again, I, I like I, I pretend to be hosting a, uh, a, a radio show, okay. uh, and they're my guests. So right. then I'll be like, all right. Uh, so she, tell us uh, about yourself. Yeah, exactly. Anyway, yeah. Yeah, it's exactly. So what we like to do for fun. And uh, but for them, it's like you know, because I'm also the name of the, of the uh, class is Brain Games. So I'm really trying to help them sort of rework their uh, their cognitive functions, wow. their okay, brain, so neurons, yeah. etc. Yeah. And so all I do is ask, ask them questions about their when they were younger or anything they remember. And then once you kind of start that up, then they really just start to open up. And it's great. And some of them, like she did not want to go, or her name, uh, she didn't want to go by her real name. So she was like, uh, she was like, just call me baby. Like that, <laughs> my, my and so for my interview with her, she was baby. Yeah. Well, so... Uh, <clears throat> And I, I don't want to um, say we didn't want to talk to you, but um, <laughs> uh, the reason I asked you about coming here yeah. last week when you were you were just a judge to me, right? right? Millie's the one who said, ask him about his real daytime job. That's right. And then I asked you about that. Yeah. So Millie's one of your students, I'm thinking, right? Millie is one yeah. of my students. Oh, is she really? And, yeah. she's, and she and comes Millie, by as often as she can. And she comes by quite a bit. <laughs> yeah. And a little bit of background, just a quick little background. Millie's the one who destroyed all of us in the ice cream eating contest last year. Mm -hmm. I think she ate what, like seventeen cups or something? seventeen cups, about seventeen cups. Scoops. Okay, so here's here's the down low. So, <laughs> we, we, so, so we I, don't have to go there, but go ahead. Yeah, but we're gonna go there anyway. But this is all in fun. But it's yeah. just, she's a fantastic person, and, and we all, you know, we're like seventeen cups. Jesus, you know, yeah. I did like two and a half, and my brain. Freed. Actually, she spilled the beans last week on the, and she on told the show. Us, yeah, she yeah. told us all. So I think we're safe to go here. Yeah. yeah. But he's like, yeah, yeah, they were just slipping over to me. They were slipping them over to me, and. <laughs> And, and for a hot minute, we all believed it. Yeah. 
<laughs> but he liked this guy having 12 beignets. Right. Yeah. I'm sorry, beignets. It, beignets. Beignets, beignets yes. Yeah, so. But that, yeah, was legit. Was that was legit. Millie had a dog, I think, but, under the table. Yeah, right? oh, yeah. She was feeding the dog. <laughs> and she told us that last Millie. week. Millie, Millie, or, she, Millie think, would take one spoon dude, and then give it to the ice cream uh, I think dog this, underneath the table. So. <laughs> I think there should be something on the uh, the application form that says, are you a professional, yes or no? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, because he, <laughs> he, he was a pro. And, yeah. I'm, and I'm joking, actually, because it's all fun. But You're right. I didn't. He was a professional he was, eater, I guess. Yeah, he, he was a professional eater. Like he goes around the country competing in eating contests. And we had him on the get, on the show. Like yeah. we interviewed him yeah, beforehand. And I'm looking at him going, an ordinary Joe would find me that. Ordinary Joe. I'm like, and he's like, yeah, I'm gonna eat like eight. I'm like, okay, whatever. Uh. <laughs> Little do we know, he had 12, and I think people were still trying to make beignets for him. Uh, I mean, yeah, wasn't he still we, we ready to go? Of, they ran out. We ran out of beignets. He could have yeah. had 13. Because he had like 30 more seconds or something. Yeah, he probably right? could have gotten to 13 or 14. <laughs> yeah. uh, but he thankfully, like an, we ran out, so he in the second place couldn't get any more. But, yeah. but That was a lot of fun. So we digress. We, um, yeah. we <laughs> so often we're, do in this show. We were talking about, uh, <laughs> no, we we're, were talking about your classes. No, yeah. isn't, we're improvising. <laughs> um, so we were talking about the classes, and and just you know, on a personal note, my mom died at 89 and she was still sharp as a tack wow. i mean her body gave out much sooner than sure. her brain she was still smarter than all her kids but um <laughs> so that's when you talk about that you know you've got somebody in their 80s 90s yeah. 105 mm-hmm. there's some of them are still real sharp oh totally yeah and and like the way i see what i uh, tell folks is that my improv classes regardless of the age regardless of your uh a kid or someone that's older, I consider it to be fitness for the brain, and I treat it like that. And I'm like, so if you're a kid, you might I might be doing the same classes with you that I'm doing with a with someone that is an assisted uh, living facility, but the, the the my focus is a little bit different. For a kid, I'm trying to develop certain skills that certain muscles that aren't that, that aren't there yet, whether it is uh, listening or focus or etc. And when you're older, I'm trying to help you retain that. Through, through using a lot of the same exercises. Uh, and so I want, uh, so the, hearing that your mom was sharp as a tack is, is wonderful. I, I love to hear that. And that's what that's the gift that I want to keep giving to folks that are older. And I, when they're right. in my classes, I'm like, Let's, we're, we're, we're doing a workout here uh, so that because I want you to be as sharp as a tack. So how long have you been doing what you do? Yep. Uh, how long have you been at um, Florida Studio Theater? Yeah. Um, and what got you into this type of thing? All right, yeah. So I've been doing it. That's a lot. Sorry. Yeah, no, it's all right. Uh, for a total about 30 years. Uh, professionally, professionally, I've been doing it for about 25 years. And uh, here at, uh, I used to live in Boston. I moved here to Sarasota about eight years ago specifically for this job. So I've been doing oh, okay. that at here at Florida City Theater for eight years. Okay, so 20 some years total. Yep. Eight years in Florida. Yep. Um, you, you said you oh, were yeah. kind of an introvert, yeah, and I, was kind of I think a, we all start out a little I bit think that we all way. Did. Maybe not, but I, I was the same way back. Yeah. You know, I yeah, still Scott, am. You're really, really I still shy. am. Um, yeah, but I, I had a, I had to become extroverted when I started a job in sales, and I, I was really nice. I would go and try to make a sale. Yeah. I would, I would call on real estate agents as a loan officer, and I would go in and I'd be like really nice to them, and then I'd go to the next office, and next office, and after like five months, my boss said, "It's great. They all love you. You're really nice." But you have no business because yeah. I didn't know how to ask for business. I right. wasn't that push, I guess, pushy in a way. So I learned I better start speaking up a little bit more. Yeah. So, so yeah, going back, when you know, what made you think, hey, I'm gonna? Was it college? I mean, did you go to so school for this? I uh, I originally got into theater. I always tell folks uh, it was a girl that got me into theater. It was I was, I was uh, trying to meet somebody, and they were they were an actress. I'm like, how do I meet her? Oh, I guess I I should do theater. Uh, we ended up becoming good friends. Nothing ever came of it. Like we're still good friends to this day. This was in high school, uh, but then she eventually left theater, and I just got, I went further into it. And uh, but I originally wanted to be a scripted theater actor. Uh, then one day in college, so you know, cut to college. I went to I went to Boston College. I tried to go to the auditions, but I missed them all. I missed all the scripted auditions. The only things that were left auditioning were the improv troops. So then I went for that, and that that was now 30 years ago. What's that? It's like 30 years ago this month. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. So where, where do you live here around downtown, sir? I actually very or? close. Uh, Gillespie Park. Okay. Oh. Okay. And what do you think about it over there? I love it. Well, we, I mean, we're loving it. Uh, we've, just in the eight years that we've been here, mm-hmm. uh, we've seen a tremendous and transformation. And that was just what I'm about to ask you because yeah. that, like, that period of time is when things have really started to skyrocket over yeah. there and just uh, renovations and, and all that. So, yeah. so you're like, right in the heart of seeing all that change. Right. Yeah. We live right across the street from the park. So we've, we've had like a front row seats to a lot of that change. I mean, obviously not... As drastic of a change as what's happened in Rosemary, uh, mm-hmm. but uh, 
our neighborhood is definitely going through uh, through its own, through its changes, uh, and we're very happy. I mean, we love it. The fact that we could we could I could I could have walked here if I wanted to. We um, I live right across literally across the street from here. Yeah, and so I'm, I share the same yeah. like love for just living dangerously close here to the downtown. Yeah. you can just literally we could walk here, scooter here. Oh, once the scooters came know. in, that was a game changer. Oh, uh, you can be down I, here in like 28 seconds. Yeah, oh, yeah, it was great. <laughs> <laughs> no, but yeah, but just being able to come down here and just sing and grab a, a wine or you know go get you know. Yep. Uh, on Mondays, go get a, a hamburger over at Patrick's yep. or something. It's just fantastic. Did and, and you mentioned? I'm sorry. I I, I was out kind of no, taking right. some pictures, so I might have missed oh, yeah, this. Actually, can you do that? Can so, you, can you do that? Oh, but oh, it's Misty, Misty Sarasota. Hey. Hi, Misty. Hey. Misty and Charlie always comes by. Misty is a uh, downtown institution here, yeah. and I think <laughs> I most people you. have seen her on you know scooting around town with uh, with Charlie, her little doggy in the back. You know, always dressed up now. Charlie's now a bunny. Right? I love it. Yeah, Look with at little those goggles, goggles on, like little Red Baron goggles going on. So oh, she's yeah. yeah, she's fantastic. I'll see you tonight. <laughs> all right, all right, take care. Hey, Bye. make good choices. <laughs> okay. Um, oh, all right. Nice. Fantastic. <laughs> okay, we're always we're always mugging for the paparazzi. Love it. Yeah, there's no paparazzi. <laughs> I'm kidding. Um, no, so. I got my question was that you were, you came from from where'd you come from here to move down from here Boston from Boston yeah okay and you came for the job I think I remember that's correct say, yep. right okay so did you have any kind of idea of what Sarasota was like when you came down or had you been here before or were you just kind of winging it for the job and just coping it was good you know we were uh, uh, Sarasota holds a uh, the, uh, the Fort Story of Theater has a improv festival every summer mm. so that's what originally brought me here starting in like 2009. I was coming down every summer for a few days, three, four days, and we would do the Sarasota Improv Festival. Yeah. And, uh, and so that was my introduction. So before I moved here, I had been down here for like five consecutive summers. Smelling kind of loud. <laughs> um, but so when you came down here, did it, did it match your expectation when you came down? It you did. It, yeah. yeah. I mean, we were... We and you've seen the growth, which is the right. most exciting part That's what, so that's far. That's great. So. Uh, it, it was once we lived here year-round, uh, th- it was all the other things that... That uh, it start to pop up that we never even that we didn't from our little weekend visits. You just don't get the feel for the like the year-round stuff that there's to do. The uh, all the the pockets. Uh, I mean, we what I tell people is that we when we first moved here, we put together a, a, a wish list or, or to-do list for Sarasota that we've barely put a dent in it, and that's been eight years. Mm-hmm. There's just so much to do. All right. And it's constant. It's year-round. It's great. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. It is crazy. There's yeah. plenty to see and plenty to do here. Oh yeah. Definitely, and, and it's it, almost impossible to catch them all. You know, right. I live like live, we live right downtown. Yeah, and uh, and I, I love the beach. Yeah, and and, I'm, and I moved primarily here to be able to get over to Lido, which yeah. is you know my favorite beach. Yeah. But honestly, I think I've been there about two or three times in the past six months. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? Just because like yeah. I know it's there, yeah. and it's for some reason, you know, it's just and plus work gets in the way, and right. there's time and everything. We so. we go like on the, on similar runs. We're like, oh, it's been six months. And then we'll go for like a month. We'll go every weekend. It's mm-hmm. like you suddenly remember. It's like, okay, oh, that's right. That's how you do this. And that's how you put it into your routine. <laughs> there's, a, there's a beach here. We should right. get over yeah. there. <laughs> Most definitely. Yeah. So, God, so, um, hey. So, do you, uh, do they do shows then? Um, I know we talked about classes. Yeah. And maybe you talked when I was off the headset. But do they do at the theater? Mm-hmm. Do they put on shows then as well? So, these people that are in the classes also have mm-hmm. live Yep, we do uh, shows, shows uh, and stuff like that? every Saturday night okay. and some Friday nights. Okay. So we'll, we'll have shows. So uh, so tonight in a few hours I'll be I'll be on stage. <laughs> so you so you'll be doing the improv. Yeah. Okay. Yep. How about the students? Do they do do they get involved with those? They things? do get involved okay. as well. Yeah. Right. yeah we do. In fact, next Friday uh, will be a student show. And okay. It's like basically, like your graduation. All right. Yeah. yeah. That's cool. I like it. That'd be cool. So, so you were talking about bringing the students here, maybe a Saturday or something. Do you, the, the, you think that's ones. feasible to do? do yeah, you think that's oh, totally. And 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 it, uh, I mean, I, yeah, I'll, I'll or a we'll, when we yeah. one that wants to maybe just yeah. one. Or? I could bring it up to my students uh, next week. Uh, I'll bring it up to my adult students too because we the adult uh, students also have a game similar to, to, to the ones I do with the kids. Oh. And all they do is they, they take on a character. And the character then runs uh, the show and, and asks questions. That's what we do. Yeah, yeah exactly. I mean, That's what we do. Scott we, is playing the character <laughs> of a uh, mortgage broker <laughs> right now. And Mark, a real Scott's estate agent. He's a real estate agent. So, Honestly, and characters. Yeah. No, and, and we would totally, if, if and you have my I'd number, love, you could text me, text that, me yeah. and yeah. say, yeah, you know, I've got two people who would like to do something. Awesome. We will not script it. 
or, 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 oh yeah, at all. or they on, just got to show on the up flip side and then say well, what time right? if, if you ever want and i just thought about this i don't know if this is something feasible yeah if you want to scout or myself maybe to come down there yeah and maybe kind of work in some way i mean be involved we just like being involved yeah yeah in I, some capacity that'd be great you know oh so, totally so, yeah it's, it's and, and here's the scary question now scott i'm going to ask it right i now. would be so nervous if yeah, well, i went into a class well you know we have a professional like do something, there's a professional right? here yeah this guy right exactly <laughs> i know we we're doing this on the fly <laughs> i know okay, i know, like, I know. That's so what is cool. that's what's cool about it here comes the scary no it's very cool it's yeah. very grassroots but here comes here comes the scary question how are we doing <laughs> how are you doing yeah. you're doing great i'm very uh you guys are rolling with it you're you're uh, changing topics very quickly you're not breaking character you guys are doing a great job did you th- th- um, by you. chance <laughs> did you you didn't by chance okay, listen and, to last week's uh, for, podcast did oh, you oh no did and you i get you so the, this uh, is the there's the okay, um, sorry, the thousand dollar gift card is thank still you, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> no you're because you're on it so uh Oh, Mark, yeah, Mark I'll let you explain. You yeah, broke yeah, it down yeah. in three okay. seconds. Last week. So let's, last week, yeah. Yeah, let's yeah, let's go into this for a second. Yeah. So, you know, we've been the whole we've been doing this for about, what, about two months. I did about a month before Scott right. uh, graced us here. <coughs> and so the whole the whole premise was to be able to go and get a, a bulk of, of shows to get up on someplace. So someone doesn't go up there and say, hey, great one show you have. Right. You know, so we have. So we did it for a couple months. Uh, now it's on sarasotastreettalk.com. Cool. And you go on there. It's very mobile friendly. You can go on their laptop or, or what have you. Uh, and we split it up with the actual uh, on the street podcast. Yeah. And then each individual interviewer will have their own and a link directly to them. That's why we're taking pictures because then uh, obviously your picture will be on your section of podcast. Love it. So if somebody goes up there, they'll just go to you and it'll start right into yours. They don't have to wait like an hour. You're not at the hour <laughs> point five yeah, mark right, right. to get to me. You have to listen to Mark all did a great job with that. Rap, 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 rap so, to get there. So yeah, so on the one from last week, if you want to hear where you are, you are in an hour part. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, there's a half hour, your, a half yeah, hour with Nicole, an hour of the beignet eating contest, and then, and then a half hour with Brian. With Brian. So um, to find yourself, you're in that mishmash. Okay. But um, but if you want to just well, check it out, check it out, and obviously, uh, and obviously you'll find sure yourself right on there yeah. in, uh, in a couple of days. So um, it's pretty cool. Take it away, Scott. Well, I'm doing I'm what am I doing? Okay. Do yep. You know, I think this will here. need to get going. Pretty yeah. soon. I know he's got a brunch with yeah. his wife. Yes, yes. Um, yeah, we'll wrap this up here. So right here. So this ready? is. It's, it's wait. Time. Oh. Yep. Yeah. All right. All right. So there's um, the site right there. <clears throat> okay. So if you go on there and right off the okay. bat, if you push a little arrow, that's going to be the beignet contest okay. of which your interview is yeah. in that segment. All right. I, or you might want to just wait till Mark drops your. Uh, well, you'll, your you can today's, hear your today's thing. Yeah, yeah, you can hear this one. <laughs> no, but no, you're yeah, on that one too. So yeah. if you want to hear yeah. that. Yeah. One. I'll look for that. Yeah. But just yeah, just hit that uh, QR code right there. Just slap that thing. And you'll be able to go right to it. So Will, yeah, um, Will's wife told him, uh, you can go on the show, but <laughs> we do have brunch and do not be late. All right, so we, yeah, much like my life. <laughs> so, hey, thank you so much thank for coming on is the great. show. This was great. Uh, yeah, you I know, like learning um, about if it. If we can help in any way, if Scott and I can help in any way, please let us know. But we would love to have your students out I'm here gonna, yeah. and just have fun with them, too. I'll bring, you know? it up, I'll bring it up this week. That'd be fun. Cool. All right, All right. great. Cool. Thanks, thank Will. You, man. Thank you so much for coming out. Thank you so much. Thank you. Have a great weekend. Thank you. You too. All right. So well, that was awesome. That's fantastic. Yeah. See the diversity guy. of the different types of people that come out here. So this is how a, a this local, is how we're, uh, and he's a local professional. 